In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a connect tree tent. Let's see what's in the bag. Got the fly sheet, three ratchets, a set of poles, the tent itself, a user manual, and uh, three pegs. So the first thing to do is put your strap around the tree. You can take the loop end and walk it around your tree. And come back, get your strap, set it at the height you want, and then simply thread the tail through the loop and pull it and cinch it tight. So the first thing we need to do is lay out the connect so that all the corners are pointing to the trees that we're going to be anchoring to. So let's do that. Okay, that's about right. Now we'll attach the ratchets. Just like with all of our tents, you've got a ratchet loop. You put the loop through the D-ring and then the ratchet through the loop. You do that on the, all three sides, cinch it up tight, ready to go. Then we can take the ratchet strap, thread it through the spindle. Now the first time we do this, we're gonna do it, we're gonna eye it because we don't know exactly where the equal central point is between these three trees. So the way I do it is I stand on the end of the oh, I stand on the end of this strap and give it a couple of pumps. So I've got something to pull against. So now we've taken it loosely off the floor into position. You can see that all these seams run and the strap run in a straight line. And we're aiming for this to be this pole socket to be in line with the strap. So I'm going to look down the strap and it's pointing vaguely at the pole socket. So you get two poles with a connect and you can feed them both in from the same side. Connect poles are pre-curved because they've got quite a, um, a bend on them. So one goes that way and the other one goes this way. And if you over push them a little bit, you can find the two pole sockets and this pole is pointing to that one and this pole goes into that one. Once both poles are in their sockets on this side, come round to the other side and you take a pole in each hand and push. And up pops the top and you just simply put that one in there and that one in there and the connect's ready. The connect's got a lot of doors, four doors, two each side, um, and both sides open up pretty much fully, and you can roll up the netting and just use the toggles and loops to hold them fast and get them out of the way. And Do set up your connect higher in the tree so that you have to use one of the ladders to get in then one of the things you're going to need is a handle to pull yourself up so that's what this handle is for for pulling yourself up when the connect is set at um, a higher height than this um, both sides come with pockets you've got pockets down here and pockets up here so each person's got a couple of pockets both sides and you've also got space at the back there with a, um, a luggage strap 
rucksacks in the tail and then this will hold it in place. You also got places in the corners where you can, you can stuff small things, gloves, hats, socks. Now it's time for the fly sheet. Uh, now, fly sheet on the Connect is slightly easier than some of the other models because it's not symmetrical on every side. You've got a tail and the tail you'll find looks like this. It's got three seams coming together. One, two, three. That's the tail. Pulling the fly sheet with me. And when we get here, we can simply clip those two bungees to the back of the ratchet. Not to the front of the ratchet, but to the back plate of the ratchet. And then I'm going to do the opposite side first so I can pull it over as I'm walking forwards. Now you can clip these to the back of the ratchet. The other way you can do it is by lacing them up the strap. Like this, which means you can have your ratchet at the other end by the tree if you wanted to, and that will grip it very nicely. Then you get your three pegs and your three bungees. And you simply hook your bungee to the hook on the fly sheet and see where it pegs out best and then drive your stake in. Down the centre of the connect you'll find a strap with an adjuster buckle. Now you'll see this is really loose. I should probably have tightened it up before I completely tightened up the rest of the tent but what this does is it will create the floor and divide it into two separate hammocks. The way it is right now, you've got one huge hammock, which is great for cuddling, but if there's two of you that don't like to roll into the center, you're gonna tighten this central strap. So it's really nice and tight, and that will create the divider between the two separate um, hammocks. You can attach your ladder either on this side and this side, or this side and this side. And if you're using Connect as part of a trilogy, which is three Connects put together into a super tent, then you'll put your center tightening strap on this D-ring, which will give it a lot more strength and pull them up in the middle. So you can see on the fly sheet that there's a couple of bat wings and a couple of attachment points, which you're more than welcome to peg out. But if it's really, really bad weather, you might want to use this feature where the, um, the fly sheet actually comes together underneath the tent by way of the toggles and loops and forming a uh, complete weather seal. So if it's really windy, it can't get you. So we'll do that one there and this one here and uh, you're pretty done. <laughs> 